Hello, my name is Benoît Janson. I work for RTE, the French Transmission System Operator. And let me introduce you to Operator Fabric. Operator Fabric is a project of the Linux Foundation Energy. It is open source and you can find it on GitHub. Operator Fabric was initially developed by RTE and its aim is to provide to the operator a framework for hypervision and coordination. So let me show you a demonstration of the tool. It's based on the real framework, but underneath that's just a demonstration. Well, we are in the context of an outage. And for this outage, we have two prerequisites. One is to be implemented by the maintenance. It's the implementation of an automation. And the second one is from the system operator and it, he must uh, check whether the DSO is aware of the outage. So Operator Fabric looks like that. You have a timeline on top and you can see that on the timeline you have the uh, notification that we can find here on the deck, a deck of notifications. And here you have a dashboard. For the demonstration that's just a picture but we can put whatever we want here at the dashboard. Our scenario started with the two prerequisites. So let's move to another room, the room of the maintenance. So you can see that the maintenance has exactly the same kind of user interface. And the first prerequisite we have is in the context of the outage of the line Roosevelt Saint Dizier and the maintenance has to put into operation this automation. So the maintenance operator verifies that the automation is into operation and all the activities are done for him for the time being. Let's go back into the system operator control room. So the operator can see that at the maintenance level, the automation has been put into operation. So it can check that the first prerequisite has been implemented. And then he has to check whether the DSO is aware that the load shall be limited to 36 megawatt. So he called the operator of the DSO and agreed both on the fact that the limitation is implemented. And you will see that once both prerequisites are acknowledged, the system will be able to show that the outage can be started. Look at that. I acknowledged. And a new notification is now available in 30 minutes for the outage of the line Brosval saint dizier And you can see the topology change that will be needed to be put into operation. So we just received a notification from the security analysis tools telling us that in two hours there will be an overload on the line bousonville boulet Three remedial actions are available. The first one is a topology change here. The second one is to limit the wind in feed in the station of Bousonville. And the third one is a limitation of the load in Boulay. So as the first one is cost-free, Operator Fabric, actually the security analysis tool, suggested that the first one should be implemented. So I confirm it to the tool. We can see that this remedial action is now recorded and will be implemented if the constraints occur in two hours. So now we just received a new notification. That's a red one, meaning that's a, a warning of high priority. And as we can see, we have an overload in a transformer here. And we have 10 minutes to cope with that constraint. Uh, let's imagine that the operator is not available now to work on that contingency. So it can forward this notification to someone else in the control room. And let's go to this other operator. Here, you can see that the other operator sees exactly the same information. 
all the data are the same. And he has the ability from here to launch an analysis to be able to find the remedial action. Here it is. His study tool is directly launched at the right place. He can implement the new remedial action, and when it's done, there is no longer the constraint. So let's get back to the first operator. The first operator received the notification that the problem is now solved, so he can acknowledge it. So now, that's the time of the outage. Remember, both prerequisites are OK, and we can see that the module that is managing the outage is directly connected to the SCADA and sent the set of orders to launch the, the, um, the outages. And the line is now in the outage state. That is an information for the system operator. That is also an information for the maintenance. You can see that now, for the maintenance, the line is in the outage state, and they can work on the line. So the maintenance acknowledged it, and we can go back to the control room. Now we can see that we received three other notifications, meaning that Operator Fabric enables to connect many modules that are uh, designing the backbone of the activity of the operator. So that's exactly the philosophy of Operator Fabric. That's a layer, a framework, enabling to coordinate between various control rooms and being connected to various modules having their own intelligence. So now, let me show you a live implementation of Operator Fabric that is ex being experimented in a control room in, uh, in France. So here you can see that's the security analysis module. And we can see that we received one notification telling us that in six hours there will be a constraint, a n minus one constraint. And you can see that you have the n situation and the n minus one situation. You can see that one remedial action is available, and you can click on it and see the state in n, n minus one, and after the curative remedial action for the various substations that are involved for, uh, for, for this contingency. That's just an example of the use of a part of fabric connected with the other framework that is possible that enables to launch various uh, calculation and uh, models uh, on the network. So as you can see, Operator Fabric is a framework uh, for the coordination between oper operators and that enables it to be connected to various specialized models that are designing the backbone of the activity of the operator. Operator Fabric is an open source project and is now part of the Linux Foundation Energy. And you can find all the source code on GitHub. Thanks for your attention.